happy New Year's 2019. Um, I'm not doing my normal New Year's video because I didn't really have a lot to say. Um, Josh and I were supposed to go to Carowinds uh, this winter for New Year's, but as you guys know, we have Bowie, who's sitting over there in the living room looking at us, and uh, Loki, who is conked out, and this little guy right here. We have our new pets, and we just didn't want to... I mean, the cats would be fine here. They're a bit scared because there's fireworks going off really close. But the dogs, we didn't want to stick them in a kennel having just got Bowie. And um, definitely didn't want to leave them here, especially outside during the fireworks. So yeah. we need to rethink a plan for next year. We figured their safety and well-being was more important than us going out and getting drunk with a bunch of strangers or whatever. So we're just sitting here. We have a big old bottle of Frangelico, and we're... Drinking it, uh, I have to take it slow because with my surgery, I haven't really drinking anything. Ooh. He's on his, his second sip. This is the first time he's had for Angelico, so I'm introducing him to all my favorite old liquors. Um, but it is really good. If you guys haven't had it, it tastes like hazelnuts. Cool. And yeah, it's, it's delicious, but it's really strong. Um, oop. <laughs> My uh, my baby boy is on my lap as always. I don't know if I can. <laughs> He's never, ever far from me. We went through a little three days where he was mad at me because he <laughs> he jumped up on the couch and he stuck his face right in my eggs and bacon and he started eating it and I was like, whoa, not you know. I gave him a little paddle and he was like, mommy hit me, and he ignored me for. What, two days he two wouldn't come days. yeah he wouldn't come near me wouldn't sit on me and i was like he doesn't love me but he was he punished me for punishing him and after that now he's fine and he's my my baby again so uh josh is finally in a video hmm. how has this year been for you it's been strange for us a lot of ups and downs yeah lots of stuff has happened there's a lot of stuff that we will not talk about publicly because it's private um but uh, it's nothing to do with our relationship or anything it's just right. other stuff that we don't want to get into but um we had a you know my mom died um let me move my camera up a bit more my mom died we moved we got a car we we went through a lot of changes this year. A lot of stuff has happened. I lost my kitty cat. Got another kitty cat. You cannot have that boy. <laughs> Had to give him back to his owner. <laughs> Her. Her, yeah. Um, got this baby here. It was my baby boy. Look at him. Hey. He doesn't care what you do. He's just so loving. He's my baby yeah he's just purring away he he is the coolest kitten we have ever had he's just so laid back he just doesn't care about anything i love him so much he stays right here yeah lucifer and his name is lucifer not lucifer a lot of people thought it was lucifer but it's not it's lucifer i saw it on a um black craft cult um advertisement and it was a white kitty cat and his name was Lucifer and I was like oh my god that is the coolest thing ever and this little boy purrs all the time so I thought that was like the coolest name and uh he comes he could be anywhere in the house and I call his name and he runs right to me like yeah. a dog it is so cool and he chills with the dogs too yeah he loves the dogs he'll just like go and lay down and cuddle right with all the dogs it is so sweet um, but anyway, let's talk about this this year. This is our second year together. Well, second New Year's together. In the bottle. And uh, you don't really do a lot of talking in these videos, so I would like you to talk a little bit. I know you don't talk much. But you're you're the good husband and the different husband and the one that's given me everything that I've never had in my life before. So it would be nice to hear from you this New Year's. I don't know what to say. How does it feel being married again? How does it feel having a life with somebody and everything that we've been through and your new job and it feels great. Um, 
I love my new job. Dealing with uh, the bullying and um, things that you're not really used to in your life. And -hmm. just being with some strange girl who moved from overseas. Now we've been together over a year. Been married half a year. Um, How does it feel? How does it all feel? Feels good. I love us and I love my job, but the bullying thing kind of died down. That was really a waste (laughs) of their time. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was different to bring you into that. Yeah. But we don't we don't check. We don't look. Um we yeah. hear stuff occasionally, but it's just whatever. Um I'm personally just tired of being online in general. It, it does nothing for me anymore. We we look at stuff and we're like, "Oh, that's a load of shit. That's a load of shit." Look at this person, this person, this person, and people, yeah. it's just, oh, <coughs> there's so much negativity online, and it, it brings you down after a while, just reading all this bad stuff constantly, um, and sometimes it's good to take a break from it, it really is, because uh, too much negativity, it does affect you, yeah. and uh, it's always a hard choice to make your own mental state versus followers and fans and people you don't know you know Um, I hate to abandon people like I do but sometimes you just you just have to yeah it was good when we shut everything down for a while got away from everything yeah it was it was better yeah why'd you call because of the jewel oh yeah I I inhaled right when you I don't know I, I inhaled and I got a whole bunch of smoke in my face. Sorry. That wasn't nice. Um, kitty cat's over there with the dog right now. He's he's cuddled up to Loki. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a way to show it. Let me oh, unplug my phone. Yeah. 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 It's perfect. Lucifer, what you doing? Like, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Hey boy, <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna come see mommy. I give him a treat when he comes to me like that because it's it's super cute. It's kitty cat treat, not doggy treat. Doggies have bones. Um, yeah. <coughs> I don't really have a lot to say. Uh, I couldn't read that. I just got text. Um. I don't really have a lot to say anymore there's, because there's so much that I don't want to talk about. I want to keep my personal life private now. Um, it's done me no good being open, like so open about everything. But um, all I can say is that I'm still in the best marriage I've ever been in. Me too. I actually feel like I'm loved and appreciated and cherished. And you are. I think that Josh is the most beautiful human being I have ever laid my eyes on, in person or not in person. And I feel the same. Mm. And you are the coolest kitty cat. You are the best little kitty cat ever. (laughs) And uh, we love our little family. We have uh, six animals right now. It doesn't feel like it got one asleep right here um, on my leg, one on my lap, one this on the pillows, and one on the couch right there, and then the dog, and then the dog. This is my, zero. <laughs> zero. Um, this is my girl. Zero. Yeah, he she's loves beautiful. her. She has a cute little face. She's beautiful. Ooh, I'm sorry. We took her in, and she was so young. Oh, she's, so she goes and suckles on one of our older ones. She like... She Jeez. tries to knead and suckle on her because she was taken away from her mom too, too young. Man, she was. And Bowie gets along with the kitty cats. He's Man, a good he boy. He's he, a good boy. He listens really well. He listens better than Loki does. Loki's got a stubborn streak in him. It's probably the husky. <laughs> oh. But um. We we have a good a good little family, a good little home here, yeah. and we're trying to make the best of of our life and what we have and (laughs) 
We may not be rich, we may not have a whole lot, but we have a whole lot more than what we had this time last year. Um, oh, yeah. Last year we got, we didn't have a bed, we didn't have a vehicle, we well, didn't we have... We had one, but... We didn't have, we didn't have the GPS. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we, we didn't have anything this time last year. We had like, what, a, two plates, two bowls one set of silverware if that like a four knives four forks four spoons knives four spoons yeah four butter knives um and it was just rough but we made do what was important to us was that we were together more than any material objects and um now we have each other and we're married and we have stuff and we have pets and mm -hmm. No matter how many people come to us and say that we're bad owners, I'm a bad owner and I no. kill and lose no. animals, no. I have explanations for every single animal no. that's gone missing and they are all happy and healthy and yeah. shit happens sometimes. It doesn't mean that you've killed them or lost mm -hmm. them on purpose. I've lost one animal and that, that was my mistake. Somebody took her. Aside from that. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um... I, I admit that I fucked up by leaving her outside when I went in to take a piss, but damn, you know, no. mistakes happen. Sometimes it just, it, it just one little mistake and something happens and you, what can you do? You can't take it back. Um, and yeah. everything else, it, it wasn't our fault. It just unfortunate circumstances shit happened, but we do our very best to give these animals the best home that they could have. And we've got past and present owners of pretty much all these pets where we got those two from and ember you know my little girl that died i have their their old owner on my friends list got bowie's owner on my friends list loki's owner i have her email and her she has my cell phone number we have each other's numbers and she's on my instagram and his owner his old owner is on my friends list as well so we keep in touch with everybody and um which is ignorance and hatred, blind hatred that makes people say these nasty yeah. things, but it's not going to stop us. And as long as we're under the legal limit, which we are, we'll keep getting as many animals as we damn will feel like, because this is a, a good home for them. Yeah. And I don't care what anybody says, but I'm not, I'm not going to talk about animals anymore. I think I, yeah, I don't know. What? I feel a little buzzed. <laughs> I think that's why I'm blabbing. I feel a little drunk. Um, the, and it's awful hot in here. Day, yeah. <laughs> it's awful it's hot in here suddenly. <laughs> but they're fed every day and they're watered. They, they don't get abused. Yeah. Um, they love us. So. Obviously. Yeah. Does this look like the face of a cat that's that's in a bad home or is abused? I mean, look at him. And he he's... I'm sure he wouldn't come near us. So. Yeah, and he's purring and purring, and the dogs are miserable if they can't get as close to us as they can. Like, right now, we're trying to keep them on that side of the couch, you know, because right here, there's not that much space. And they keep trying to get They, right try, they get as close as they can because they want to be with us at all times, and those aren't abused animals, you know? Yeah. They, they're they not like, like, Azzy, she, she was abused and not by us. She cowered. Yeah, she sad. she was scared to move. They're not scared to move. They just prefer to be as close to us as they can. Um, even Zero. She she comes around and likes to sleep with us. Yeah. Um, they just... They, they have an amazing home here. They really do. And they get... Not only they get... Do they get really good, expensive food? We give them grain-free... Yeah really good food um but food. yeah but they also get treats like sometimes we won't we'll be down to our last bit of money and we'll go let's get the dogs a bone we'll bring them big old meaty bones and shit yeah. you know and let's get the cats a toy or some treats and you just went and spent almost 20 bucks on treats to them yesterday um they're spoiled yeah. because they are our children yeah. you know um this is our family this is our life and Everybody in this household gets spoiled. You should, you should talk about what you got for Christmas. I didn't make a Christmas video. I just really, I really didn't feel like it. But Some amazing stuff. Um, do you honestly, if you remember everything you got? Because on YouTube, I didn't talk about what we got for Christmas yet. A bunch of shirts, hoodies, uh, 
Got the original Child's Play script autographed by Brad Dourif. This is a certificate of authenticity, authenticity. right? Right. I'm sure that came with it. Yeah, it did. Um, a bunch of sun pictures and posters with certificates of authenticity. We've got uh, Tim Curry's autograph and Bill Skarsgård. Some it pictures. Yeah. All the shit up there. Yeah, you got the horror plushies, the horror Legos. You got mostly it stuff, Chucky stuff, and horror stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, you you got a lot of expensive, yeah. hard to find shit this year because this was a year I had the money to yeah. buy you lots of stuff. We what we do or did is we started buying stuff um, in like July. July. Yeah. And so we've been saving it over the course of the idea. year. Yeah. And um I got I got some cool stuff too. I got pop funkos and two dresses and this Lindo. awesome hooded hooded cloak, um, like veily tool hooded cloak and this necklace here that I love. And um I got a preserved octopus and a preserved bat, and my pride and joy is I got Rain, the living dead doll. I've been after her for so long. You got Umbrella, too. An Umbrella that was early, yeah. early in the year, and Pennywise, and living dead dolls. I love living dead dolls. You got the Cuphead, too. Yeah. But we were together in the store when I bought that. Oh, yeah. Uh, you didn't buy me that. I bought me that. <laughs> um, the Rain... It turns out that they re-released it. I didn't even know that they did that. And this is the re-release. And I went and I, I wanted to know what the difference was between the re-release and the original. And it turns out that the re-release oh, has got um, glass eyes. And, and as yeah. a whole, she is way prettier. It turns out the original Rain is actually really ugly. She got the Xenomorph like bus, too. That was my birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm buzzing a little bit. <laughs> You can't just look up there and point out everything and say that's all I got. Half of that shit was was birthday presents. I got Doctor Who socks and he got Pennywise socks and Child's Play socks. And uh, his Christmas present that I couldn't wrap so I gave it to him early also was the 4.0 Bluetooth surround sound X rocker gaming chair that shit was expensive and then it's like it's nice 50 pounds yeah. it's comfortable comfortable I got a mini nintendo too yeah oh yeah mini nintendo and then for his birthday I can show it. Hold on. for his birthday i'd also got him the xbox one x is that what it's called yeah one x yeah. and i got him a gaming <laughs> <laughs> i got him a gaming laptop uh Fucking, what brand is that? Lenovo something? Oh, Lenovo. Lenovo red and black gaming laptop. Oh, it's MSI. Oh, never mind. That was what I was looking at. It's an MSI gaming yeah, nice. laptop. Nice. And, uh, and he doesn't ever use. But, um, besides that. Because I have an Xbox One X. So. <laughs> uh,. We, we've done pretty good. This is probably the year that we've splurged the most. I don't think the other years yeah, are going to be this big. Thousands of dollars. Yeah, the other years aren't going to be this big. Really, there's nothing else that I could think of to get him, so we have to go to wish list next Google year. Google Play gift cards. I also got him, for, for your birthday, you got a $50 Google Play gift card, and for Christmas, I got you another $50 Google Play gift That's card. That's what I want the most. <laughs> Google Play gift and cards. And... My friend Samuel, who is like a brother to me, yeah, was he was really nice. so sweet, and he sent me um, a, a doll that I love and that I had wanted for a long time, and he sent him an awesome Dragon Ball Z figurine, yeah. and that was really, really sweet of him. Yeah, that was really nice. And my daughter from another mother, <laughs> Ariana, um, she's a girl that I met when she was 15 years old. She was... Such a sweet little girl. I used to drive around. She did school at my house sometimes, and um, she was she was a sweetheart. She, I used to wish she was my daughter. Uh, she sent us a really nice card as well, so that that was really sweet. We haven't given our address out to hardly anybody. Only people that we really, 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 really trust, because um, 
you know, stuff and people. stuff, people. But um, th those were really, really nice gestures. And it would be great if they could come visit us at some point. <clears throat> I, I would love Josh to meet my friends and stuff because he's going to be around for the rest of my life. Hmm. Or his life, whoever dies first. Probably me because I'm not healthy. Set up. But yeah. You got a bunch of bows too. No, I didn't. Other ones, yeah. No. Oh, I got one. You gave me one bow for Christmas, and it, it stands up though, so I have to figure Side out ball. how to wear it. Yeah, it's an, and it's on the bow itself is written like "die, kill, murder," and all all that stuff. It's pretty cool. It's cute. And I got him a horror wallet yep. that's got bloody handprints on it, and it's got his name written in bloody fingerprints that he hasn't used yet. And check it all. From yeah. the 1980s, the, the original Chucky yeah, Child's Play 2 or 3. That was from 2, I think. Child's Play 2 doll. And some it pictures and the the um, Dragon Ball pictures printed on dictionary pages. Mm -hmm. Lots, just so much stuff. So, yeah. so much stuff. It was amazing. Yeah. It was a really great Christmas, great year, yeah. and um, how long has this been going on? Twenty minutes of nothing. Mm. <laughs> um, I, I guess that's about it because um, I can't think of what else to say without going in circles. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say? You never say much. You need to talk more. Talk. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you, th what do you think about uh, the uh, Logan and Dorian situation with? Uh... I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> That's a damn shame. <laughs> Not many people have wanted to comment on that. A lot of people have Good. kind of steered clear of that topic. Um, that is very shocking. I, I I was debating whether I should mention it or not. We talk about it between us a bit. Because we're just like, what the fuck, Logan, are you thinking? He could have found anybody else. Doesn't matter who. But to go after his stepson's wife and live in the house. And so Dorian essentially has to watch himself being cheated on nonstop. I just don't understand it. Don't understand it either. And I feel really bad for Dorian for that. I but too, he has actually. he has to learn... I, I know. An ass, but I, I actually feel bad for him. I, I, yeah, I know that's not the relationship he wanted, and that's not the marriage that he should have had. He should have been married and been happy and, you know, like this, been in love or been with somebody that loves him enough to want only him. That's what it should have been. You marry someone that loves you enough to just want you. Yeah. And I, I'm afraid he's stuck now. And he doesn't know how to get out of it. I don't know. There is a friend of his that is not supposed to be talking to me. That is very close to him. That has filled me in on a whole bunch of stuff. And I better not find out that Dorian has killed himself over her. Um, because that, that's, that's another topic I don't want to get into. Because if I say anything, she'll be like, oh my god. She threatened me. I'm going to go to the cops. Because that's what she does. <laughs> or he. Oh. Uh. She knows she's a she. That that whole I'm a male thing was just attention whoring stuff. And if it wasn't for the fact that she's an enemy of mine, the hate sites would have been all over her. But they have to choose a side. And their side is, I'm the most important one. So they're not going to go after anybody else. They're going to take, take their side, um, even though secretly or not so secretly they hate them too. Okay. But uh, I'm the bigger fish to talk about or whatnot. But... Yeah. That situation it trumps all, in my opinion. It just, uh, for every reason, it just shouldn't have happened. Dorian should have been in a, you know, no matter what he's done to me in the past, Dorian should have ended up being married and being in a good relationship, and it should have been worthwhile to him to have done what he did to me because mm -hmm. true love and all that. He was in love. He was made to feel like she really cared about him and wanted to be with him and only him, and... Um, you know, basically something worth throwing your mother away for, not yeah. some girl that that was cheating on you in your own house. 
that shouldn't have happened um, for whatever reason. But it's not my life. I have my own life. And uh, I'm happy. Happy in the moment. It's okay. Me too. Mm -hmm. Is it Kiss Brew? Jeffree Star. Okay. I put it on specifically because I knew I was going to drink and I probably end up with lipstick smeared all over because the other ones, as much as I love them, they're not kiss proof the same. Yeah. But yeah, um, so we're, we're watching Supernatural, so we're probably going to continue watching Supernatural. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably 11.30 or so. Lucifer, that cannot be comfortable. It's a quarter after 11. Mm. Well, it's almost, almost the new year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess that's it. No. No. Say bye. And happy bye. new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Shut up, folks. <laughs> <laughs>